Hello guys, let me show you how to use the engineering mathematics app that is designed for engineering students. Um, it covers everything that you uh, will be learning in your mathematics classes. Let's go through the menu here, algebra, complex numbers, exponents, logarithms and sequences, vectors and matrices, trigono trigonometry and conics. Um, combinatorics, probability, statistics, calculus and numerics, uh, differential equations and transforms, and lastly conversions. If anything else uh, you would need, just shoot us an email. We try to include that for you. Also, you must know that even though this app is now shown on a um, TI Inspire software on the computer, uh, these apps only run on handheld. TI Inspires for now. So let's look at some specific examples. Say you want to solve a 2x2 two two system of equations. Enter them in terms of x and y and using the elimination method here you will see how you arrive at the final correct answer. x is 1, y is 1. You change numbers around. You see that your final answer changes immediately. Uh, complex numbers. Say you have you're given uh, two complex numbers and you want to find their sum, their difference, a the product, or their um, quotient. Then that's all done here for you, step by step. And uh, exponents, logarithms. Um, so geometric sequences and theories. Enter a geometric uh, sequence formula right here. Then it shows you that the common ratio is one third and the first term is one. Since the common ratio is absolute value is less than one, the sequence converges to zero and the sum, which is a series, then converges to three over two using this handy formula, G1 over one minus R. Of course, as things change here, you immediately get uh, different answers. But they are correct and perfect. Um, what else would you like to see? What else do I show you? Vector, say uh, you want to find vector length, dot product, angles. Enter the two vectors here, two dimensional vectors here, and then let me show you. Notice that we're entering whole numbers. That means your answer looks fancy, but don't be scared. If, uh, you wanna, if you want to have a decimal answer, just enter a decimal number, so the, turn the 2 into 2.0, and you can see that the angle now is 63 degrees. Same for the W vector. Make any of the entries a decimal, and your final answer is going to be a decimal, 53 degrees. Here's your dot product, 11, and conclusions. Uh, v and W are not perpendicular because their dot product is not equal to zero. And the angle is 10.3 degrees. So you can see here what else, inverse, determinant, rho echelon, Kramer rule. Kramer rule, quickly, enter the two matrices, get your determinants right here, and your final answer down here, 1-1 one, one again. Okay, let's move on. Combinatorics. Uh, you can do the factorials here, multiplication principle, permutation combinations, uh, probabilities, and rules for probability. So let's do, if you want to do for the fun of it, permutations. You enter 6P2, and the number of rearrangements is uh, displayed and computed here for you. Statistics, important topic, averages, means, medians, find standard deviation, binomial distribution, normal distribution, regression, z-score solver, z-tests, we have tests here as well, and confidence intervals. Okay, so let's do an ex find average. You just enter a list of numbers, and here is the computation of the mean. The median is uh, 5 over 2, 2.5. Remember, 
make them decimals, the inputs, and your outputs are going to be decimals. And yeah, standard deviation, variance, all computed here. Range as well. Calculus. Okay, so here are the numerical methods, the Newton method, the bisection method. Let me show you a Newton method used to find zeros. Starting value at 0.5. Let's scroll back up to see the beginning. Here's a setup for the um, Newton method starting at 0.5, which generates the next value 3.25, plugged into the next equation. And you can see how um, we are getting closer and closer to the actual uh, zero. And that is the one that's closer to 0.5. Obviously, it has two zeros. And we are picking here the positive one due to our starting value. Uh, what else is numerical here? It is the, oh, it is actually the Euler method here in differential equation that is part of numerical methods and also of course RAMs the rectangular area approximation trapezoid Simpson rules all of this can be done here uh, step by step so also the rules differentiation rules can be looked up okay product rule quotient rule power rule chain rule um, so again, it doesn't only have computation, but it also has the rules here listed for you. Antiderivatives and derivatives, derivatives, tangent lines. Enter your function, enter the point, compute the y-coordinate, compute the slope, and there's a tangent line in two different formats. Okay, change the x value, immediately get uh, the tangent line now at x equals 2. Okay, let me show you the area approximation methods. So, say you want to find the air, approximate the area of x squared between 2 and 6 using four um, sub intervals, then the right Riemann sum will give you 86, the sum of those rectangles here. The left Riemann sum, 54, the trapezoid, 70, and the midpoint and the trapezoid as the best rules will be closest to the actual value. We included Simpson also, and the actual exact value is 69.33. So change the number of subintervals, say you make it 8, and your approximations are all going to be better. Okay, again, you put decimal to get a decimal answers. Decimal input implies decimal output. Differential equations, uh, you will be learning first order, say linear and y, Newton's law of cooling, and um, which one I'm going to, Newton's law of cooling. So, <clears throat> differential equations, um, you can solve any first order differential equation. Similarly, you can solve down here any second order differential equation. Let's do first order. Say you have variables x and t, you write that down here, tx, independent and uh, dependent variable, and your initial condition, and then you scroll down and you can see that the general solution is right here x in terms of t and then using the initial condition x of 0 is 2 you will find the particular solution right here if you have a linear differential equation linear in y first order you will enter P and Q values only here and in the second box the initial values you scroll up and then you can see this is here the differential equation it's linear in Y and you entered 1 over X up here and the X to the fourth up here and then you see the setup 
the formula for the solution is given here. You're plugging in the values that are given here. You simplify. You then integrate your, uh, in your integrand and arrive at the general solution right here. And then again, once you use or solve for y, here is your general solution. And then once you enter the initial values, you get your particular solution right here. And of course, you change things around up here, you immediately get the correct particular solution and general solution as well. Um, transforms, Laplace transform, which everybody needs to know. Enter your original equation and you can see the setup for the Laplace transform. The integration is performed here and evaluate the definite integral to arrive at your Laplace transform. Notice you change the original function, you immediately change your Laplace transform. Um, we also, of course, have the inverse Laplace transform for you, a table of Laplace transforms right here. I'm not going to go into more depth. And then finally, the conversions. Convert um, rectangular to polar coordinates and back, degree radian, degree to degree minutes and seconds, revolutions to degrees and radian. Okay, so very simple degree radian. If you enter your degrees, you get your radian here and vice versa. Lastly, degree to degree minutes and seconds. If you enter degree minutes seconds here, okay, or ch then down here is your answer in degrees. 40 degrees would be this. If you take all that out and you enter a degree, an angle in degrees with decimals, you see your minutes. And if it's more, if it's more decimals, you also get to see your seconds. Well, that was the Engineering Math Made Easy app. Very powerful, can be used for many years of uh, math in college. And again, this um, runs on handheld TI Inspire CAS CX calculators only, not this as a, uh, using the soft TI Inspire software on computers. And we will um, upgrade the app if uh, any upgrades are needed. Thanks for watching.